Hi Stampers, welcome back. Well, today is card four in our Valentine's card series. It's a mix and match week because we've been using all of our hearts and flowers and stamps, pretty paper, all that stuff. Um, so I hope you're getting a lot of ideas for your Valentine card making. Making this card now will give you plenty of time to gather your supplies or order any of the stamps that we've used this week. Feel free to copy my cards or add your creative twist. The project sheets with sizes, supplies, and shopping links are available on my blog, also in the description down below. So today's card features the Hooray for Surprises dies. Not going to use the stamp set so much. This card doesn't have a lot of stamping, but we're going to use the pretty dies, the heart dies, and the, um, the leaf, and the flower, and the little sprig. So this card is designed as a Valentine's Day card, but it's only going to say for you on the front. Um, so you can easily stamp any occasion sentiment on the inside. Here's today's card. And as you follow along, you're going to see that the card we actually made in the video doesn't look like this. And when I got all done, I just wasn't happy with it. So I tweaked it. So this is what the final card looks like. Um, but let's bring in our supplies. So I have a berry burst card base that's eight and a half by five and a half. And I scored it in four, at four and a quarter. I have a front piece, an inside piece of white, um, and those are five and a quarter by four. And I have a piece of pretty designer series paper. This is five and a quarter by four also. This is from the Delightfully Eclectic Designer Series Paper Pack. And we're going to use, we're going to make a card that's going to show both sides. So I'm excited to share that with you. Then I have scraps. I have Berry Burst scrap. I have bubble bath scrap. I have fresh freesia. And I have garden green and white. Then I have a little tiny strip that we're going to put on the inside of our card because that always makes it look so pretty. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut this piece. This card we're making today is called a collar fold card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it with the five and a quarter size at the top. I'm going to put it at two and five eighths, which is the center of that. And then we're going to cut down one and three quarter inches. And that's it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to fold down right where the cut is to the corner of the card. So you just kind of kind of help it a little bit. I'm going to do it this way. So I want to make sure I have that corner. And then just, just give it a good crease. Just like that. Oh, isn't that going to be pretty? So we're going to go ahead and take the white piece and the designer series paper, and we're going to glue the two of them together. I'm going to glue the flaps down. You could also snail them down, whichever you prefer. So I'm going to bring in our scraps, and we're going to cut out a couple of hearts and some of those leaves and sprigs. Okay, I'm going to cut out a heart in Fresh Freesia and Bubble Bath. We don't need two of them, but I'm not sure which one I want to put on the front of the card. So we'll have to make that decision together in a little bit. So I'm going to put those there. I'm going to cut out a sprig in the Garden Green. I'm going to cut out a leaf in the Garden Green. And I'm also going to cut out the big flower, and I'm going to cut that out in uh, Bubble Bath. And I think that's it. So let me get all that cut out and we'll come back. One thing I want to mention about the heart, when you cut out the heart in this set. So there's a lot of different dies in this set. And I do have five videos, if you want to go back and rewatch them, that I used making the Hooray for Surprises set. Um, in fact, let me just show you really quick. So this stamp set and the dies create interactive cards with a pull tab, but you don't have to use that. For example, today we're not using the pull tab um, aspect of it, but here is one that we made and it has a pull tab there. And when your recipient pulls that back, they will see the words make it wish. So that's the card that they'll see. And then inside we stamped and we put the cake inside too. And then we made, a, now this one has the interactive pull tab along the bottom here. And when they pull it, 
they're going to have a secret message and then we put all those pretty flowers on there and we also decorated the envelope and then here is another one this is not interactive we just used all the um, the heart cut out like we're going to do today and then we did this card and this card when they pull the tab back they're going to see hope your birthday is wonderful so if you're interested all those videos are out, are out there for you to watch um, I'll try to put a link in the description down below so you don't have to go searching for it but what I wanted to say was when we're doing just the heart this has dots and then there's a heart outline you can't just use this one alone you also have to use the outline that's how it's going to cut away and make give you a heart shape so again let me go cut all these out and i'll be right back okay so there are all the pieces that we cut out and i forgot to mention that i also cut out just the heart uh solid and because that's going to go behind to show off the pretty little dots so let's keep going here and do just a little bit of stamping and the stamp that i'm going to be using is from the country bouquet stamp set and it says for you so i got a couple of little half inch strips here fresh freesia and bubble bath again we don't need both of them but i'm not sure what color we're going to choose so we're going to stamp both of them right now okay let's put this card together so i'm going to go ahead and glue this front piece to the front of our card just like that and then these pieces we're going to put the white solid piece behind our heart and it's going to go right there and this is where you guys get to decide do we want the fresh freesia heart let me show you up close there's going to be more going on over here or do we want the bubble bath heart and i think we're going to do the fresh freesia heart because we have a bubble bath flower so i'm going to go ahead and glue the dotted piece to the solid white piece so here's the little sprig and i just cut it in half so we're going to have that there we're going to pop this up i'm going to bring in this berry burst and i'm going to cut a little piece and put it behind our flower as a centerpiece kind of looks just like the flower in the paper right let's pop up our heart and then we're kind of going to put our sprigs in here and our flower and then our sentiment I'm going to glue the little sprigs right there. I'll pop up our little flower. I have this leaf too. Maybe I'll put that there. I think that's kind of pretty. Okay, for the sentiment, I'm just going to cut this down, make it thinner. And I'm going to banner the end. And I'm going to shorten it a little bit and then banner the end again. So just like that. Or we could do it in pink. So let me do the pink one really quick and we'll make up our minds on that, on which one. So there's the pink one. And there's Fresh Freesia. Which one do you think? You might have to call Henry in for a tiebreaker. Which one do you think, Henry? You the pink? Okay, pink it is. I'm just going to glue this down. So let's do the inside real quick. Basically, I'm just going to glue that to the inside, and I'm also going to glue that little strip on the inside. Okay, so we can stamp whatever sentiment inside and it'll be perfect for whatever occasion. Um, like I said, I did make it with Valentine's in mind, but happy birthday works too, or just thinking of you, whatever you like. 
I think this layout really shows the beauty of that delightfully eclectic paper, don't you? <laughs> I like saying that, delightfully eclectic. Anyway, I think this card is charming. What do you think? Wait, 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 don't go anywhere. So this is what the final card actually looks like. Um, when I got all done, I just wasn't happy with it. So I decided to tweak it a little bit. So I moved the banner over the heart and then I added a couple more leaves, another flower, and then I added a couple of little flowers and then I put a couple of pearls on there for pretty as pretty embellishments. So I hope you like today's card. I like this one better. What do you think? Thanks for watching.